Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. David Morel Jr. took one look at the first press conference for the David Benavidez Demetrius Andrade fight and determined that Andrade wouldn't provide Benavidez with much resistance. Andrade's approach to that promotional event was too friendly for Morel's taste. The Cuban Southpaw already felt like Andrade was too far past his prime and not enough of a true super middleweight to legitimately test Benavidez. The former junior middleweight and junior middleweight champ's chummy demeanor gave Morel even less faith that Andrade would pull off an upset November 25th in Las Vegas. A younger, stronger Benavidez dropped Andrade late in the fourth round, battered Andrade during the fifth and sixth rounds and won by technical knockout when Andrade's handlers decided he shouldn't continue after the sixth round at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino's Michelob ULTRA Arena. That fight was bullsh, T. Morel told BoxingScene.com. Everybody knows that Boo Boo, Andrade, was a good boxer before. Now, he's a good boxer, too, but he's like an old man. He's 35 years old, he's really not a 168 pounder. In his last fight, against Demond Nicholson, he didn't look good. Why did he want to fight Boo Boo when you have more guys at 168 that are stronger? He fought Boo Boo because he knew Boo Boo wasn't ready for Benavidez in the last fight. He was not ready. The first round I was watching the fight, I knew he didn't have everything to fight Benavidez. Morel, 25, is one year younger than Benavidez, whereas Andrade is nine years older than the unbeaten WBC interim super middleweight champion. The emerging Morel, 9-0, 8 KOs, wants to battle Benavidez more than any other opponent but he'll settle Saturday night for facing Ghana Sena Agbiko, 28-2 with 22 knockouts, in the 12-round main event of the last Showtime Championship Boxing broadcast of the Premium Cable Network's 37-year run in boxing. If the ambitious Morel ever gets a shot at Benavidez, he'll handle the build-up toward their fight differently than he thinks Andrade dealt with it. The press conference they were like, Hi, how are you, Morel said. Like, come on, bro. Do you want to fight or do you want to go to lunch? You know what I mean? It was crazy. The press conference, I watched it, and I was like, this fight is bullsh, T. I watched Benavidez's fight before Boo Boo with Caleb Plant, and it was different. The face off, everything, there was no smiles, no nothing. After the press conference, I knew that fight was not good. It was good for Benavidez. He won. Congratulations to him. The Morel Agbico bout will headline a four-fight telecast scheduled to start at 9 p.m., E.T. at the Armory in Minneapolis. Brooklyn's Chris Colbert, 17-1 with six knockouts, and Jose Valenzuela, 12-2 with eight knockouts, a Mexican southpaw who resides in Renton, Washington, will square off in the 10-round co-feature Saturday night a lightweight rematch of about Colbert narrowly won by unanimous decision March 25th at MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Mexico's Julio Cesar Martinez, 20-2 with 15 knockouts, will defend his WBC flyweight title against Angelino Cordova, 18-0-1, 12 KOs, an optional challenger from Venezuela, in the 12-round. 112-pound championship match Showtime will air immediately before Colbert battles Valenzuela again. The telecast will start with a 10-round welterweight rematch between 40-year-old former champions Robert Guerrero, June 1, 37, 20 KOs, 2 NC, of Gilroy, California, and Andre Berto, 32 and 5 with 24 knockouts, of Winter Haven, Florida. Guerrero dropped Berto once apiece in the first and second rounds of their first fight, a 12-rounder he won by unanimous decision in November 2012 at Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario, California. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.